So here we are in the IC Group uh, lab and uh, we are looking at a radar PMCW radar setup. This is Danish and this is Stein. So Danish, what do we have here? Uh, right here in front of you, you can see that uh, we have uh, some measuring equipment and we have uh, a DAC. So this is an analog converter. And uh, the way we, so basically this is a, a phase modulated continuous waveform uh, radar setup that we have here. Um, we are given uh, 60 gigahertz uh, RF input right here, and we send in a, tr a trigger signal through this coax, and the A pass code, the almost perfect sequence, uh, comes out of this at uh, 120 gigabits per second. Um, and then this signal just goes through the PA, gets amplified, and the, these are just the power lines of the heat sink and the PA itself. So here comes the first antenna, and this transmits the signal gets reflected here and then this is the, the receiver. So basically what we found was uh, if we remove this plate and you can see that there's some area underneath, it's uh, obviously a metal plate, so we get some ghost peaks or ghost reflections just here. So the way one of the students found or like figured out that to remove that is the reflected signal can just reflect off of this angled surface and then go out and completely just removing any kind of uh, unwanted data that we have. Um, so the final signal is received here, which just goes into the scope and the scope is connected to the laptop, which, uh, yeah, as you can see, well, as you can see here on my laptop, we process a lot of data. Uh, so first we send in a sinusoid signal uh, as a carrier wave which is uh, modulated with our APAS sequence and it's uh, binary phase shifted so then when we receive the signal back we demodulate it and we post process it again on that back. and then you can see that the, the final measurement here is at 0.39 meters and now Stein can show uh, where the exact uh, Okay Stein, uh, will you show us uh, some live demo? Yes, we will now do a live demo. So as you can see, I have here a reflecting object for the radar. I'm putting it at exactly 40 centimeters from the antennas away. And now if we move to the plot, we can see it has updated. And the measurement actually shows 39 centimeters. This is because of the range resolution of 3 centimeters. So 40 is the multiple of 3, so of course it will go to the closest range bin. And as you can see, a little bit of the power is actually moved into the next range bin, so the range bin of 42 centimeters, so we can see it's in between the two. And now if I move the target, for example, closer, let's put it at a multiple of three right now, let's put it at, try to put it at 30 at least. Then we will see in any second now, we will see the plot update. So let's wait for it to update. And as you can see, right now it's at 0.3 meters. So that concludes our live demo. I hope uh, we explained it well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.